It seems like every day I always hear someone asking the same question. It usually sounds a little like this. Help. I don't feel like playing OSRS. I'm bored. How do I motivate myself to play this game? Every time I hear this, I can't help but ask the same question in return. Why play the game if you're not enjoying it? It's a game and it's meant to be fun. If you aren't having fun and aren't enjoying yourself, then why put yourself through the torture? It's important to take a step back and ask yourself whether you're having a good time. Playing OSRS shouldn't feel like work or a chore, and if it does, maybe it's time to take a break or even play something else that you enjoy. Now of course, there might be some people who ask for help with motivation for some of the boring skills so that they can eventually get to the fun stuff, and if that's the case, then I guess I can understand where some are coming from when they're asking for help. This video will be for the average OSRS player, so if you're completely maxed and have done everything, this might not be the video for you. But allow me to let you in on a little secret. No one has completed everything. Tip number one. This may be an obvious tip, but try new content that you haven't experienced yet. This could be in the form of a boss you've yet to do, or perhaps even a minigame or activity like Hallowed Sepulchre. If you haven't gone for Inferno, give that a try as well. If you don't have the gear for it yet, then that can be a goal that you can work towards. Build up the bank until you have enough to start sending some attempts. Activities like Inferno and Raids can be daunting at first, but give it a shot and stay persistent. I promise you, you can do it. Tip number two. This is an MMO. Join a clan or maybe even form one of your own. With a clan, you can participate in group activities such as bossing and maybe even host events like Bingo or Skill of the Week. If you're unfamiliar with Bingo or Skill of the Week, allow me to explain. In Skill of the Week, your clan will choose one skill for that week and everybody will try their best to get the most XP that they can in that skill. Usually there's some rewards given out as well, which can be a nice motivator to train some runecrafting and some hunter, kind of like how I used it. Now back when I participated in skill of the week, I think the prize for first place was like 10 mil, second place was like 5 mil, and third place was like 1 mil. Of course this is going to be different depending on what clan you're in, but they can definitely help out in motivating you to train some skills. And if I'm being totally honest, while the money was nice, I think it was more for the bragging rights. I think that's what motivated me to train extra hard. Now as for bingo, it's kind of like traditional bingo. The goal is to fill out a card, except instead of numbers, it's usually filled with tasks such as get a Dragon Warhammer or get a Vorkath Unique or stuff like that. For this event, people are usually broken up into teams and the first one to complete it is the winner. Skill of the week was something that actually helped motivate me back when I was on the maxing grind. I recently made a clan due to popular demand, so if you'd like to join, feel free. The clan name is Lolly and it is on world 369. Tip number three, the collection log. You see that green bit? That means I've completed that boss or activity. You see all the parts where it's not green? Yeah, that's all the stuff I haven't completed. Try going for items that you've yet to obtain. Go ahead and try to get as much of it completed as you can. Now, it is important to note that this is a very long grind. It'll probably be a very long time, if anyone ever does it, before the collection log is actually filled up. And that's mainly because of items such as Third Age. You can go ahead and turn on the log notification so that you get a pop-up every time you unlock a new item. Pet hunting can also be thrown into this category. Tip number four, combat achievements. Try your luck at knocking out some tasks for bosses that you've already killed before. Not only do you get to truly challenge yourself, but there's also some rewards that come along with it as well. There's tasks ranging in difficulty from easy to grandmaster. Tip number five, consider making an Iron Man account. There's a variety to choose from such as Hardcore Iron Man, Ultimate Iron Man, and now even Group Iron Man, so that you can stand alone together. Completing tasks on an Iron Man usually takes longer, but are much more rewarding and fulfilling. If you can't be asked to start the grind all over again for fear of it being too slow, then consider playing leagues when it comes out in January. In leagues, you play an Iron Man, but XP is accelerated, drops are more common, and there's usually a new mechanic to discover and enjoy. I personally know some that exclusively play the leagues game mode only. It's pretty addicting. Tip number six, go for max. If you burn out easily, try out some of the slower, more AFK methods. It might take longer, but at least you'll still have your sanity and you'll be more likely to stick to your goal. Slow and steady wins the race. Mix up the skill training to add some variety if you find yourself getting bored or burnt. I personally found it very enjoyable to do the AFK methods while working or even playing another game on the side. Also, finally completing that diary cape that you've been putting off for so long might be a good idea. Tip number 7. Try PKing. PvP and OSRS can be another daunting task and the thought of losing your precious GP that you worked so hard for 
isn't the greatest motivator. But don't worry, there's plenty of PvP that you can take part in that is risk-free or low-risk, such as Last Man Standing, Soul Wars, or even free-to-play PKing. You don't have to start out risking your bank. LMS is great practice since you get a wide variety of weapons to try out for free. Tip number 8. XP Waste Remember that OSRS is a game. Don't worry about efficiency 24-7 unless that's what you really enjoy. Try exploring the game in a way that your younger self would. Maybe even help out some newer players and show them the ropes. No, not those ropes. You'd be surprised at what an impact you can make on someone, especially if it's their first time playing. And who knows, they may be a new friend for life. Tip number 9. Milk a cow. Yep, you heard me right. Milk a cow for GP. Okay, maybe not exactly that, but just try something new and inefficient. Once again, just enjoy yourself and don't worry too much about grinding. Wanting to only do things that are efficient is good and all, until you get burnt out and then aren't doing anything at all. Tip number 10. Play an account with a weird restriction. Lock yourself to a certain part of the map, or maybe only allow yourself to use a bronze dagger forever. Bonus points if you make a series about it. These are just a handful of tips that I could think about right now. I'm sure there's a lot more that can be suggested and who knows, maybe there'll be a part 2 to this video. Also, if you have any tips you'd like to share, feel free to leave them down in the comments below. Luckily, I've spaced out my time on OSRS so there's still much to do and explore. People usually poke fun at the fact that I haven't done everything with the amount of time I have invested, but that's expected in the comments. But hey, at least I still have some new stuff to experience. Before I end here though, I just want to reiterate. It's okay to take breaks. If you don't feel like playing OSRS right now, that's okay. Take a break. You've earned it. The game will still be here when you come back with all your progress saved. Now I know this isn't the usual type of video that I release, but a couple weeks ago I did release a video on 500 mil XP, and that one got a lot of traction. So you guys really seem to enjoy it, and I thought I'd go ahead and make something else that's similar to that video. I honestly enjoy these types of videos where I kind of just do a little bit of rambling, but also offer some insight into what I think about this game and different ways to approach it. You can definitely expect more videos like this from me in the future, alongside some of the other series that I do on this channel. I just want to say thanks for checking out the video and thank you to all the people who have decided to become channel members with a special thanks to ACR Beans and Spooky Skeletons. Really means a lot that you guys are willing to show some extra support like that. Once again, thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed, and as always, I will catch you guys in the next episode.